Yes, Olaf, I know you're a crazy little cat who wants to think like he's yes, a baby. Olaf, I know you're a crazy Interesting little to cat stream, but I like My cat <laughs> does not want to, my cat is doing everything in his power to get me to notice him and pet him and tell him he's a good boy. He's acting like a one-year-old. But then again, he's a cat, so what do you expect? Caption issue detected. Yeah. Can I hide this, please? How do I get rid of this? I don't want this up here. Oh, I just have to not have my cursor over the screen. Oh, and uh, Jared. What? Your race costs points too. What? Yeah. Oh, hey. And the anime hey. costs points to pick your race. And your your stuff, yeah. So weird. Yeah, so uh, it takes uh, six points, or no. No, you get points from being... No. You get points. So if you're a human, you get plus six points. Never mind, it doesn't take points. It gives you points. Unless you're a gnome, then it takes five points. It's It can take or give. So if you were to be a Neko Gen, so, where is it? Who am I missing? Let me see. Is she not? Right. Who am I missing else then? Constance, but. That's it? That's it? So, we only have four players? That's it. That's it. I don't know. I will be blue. Here's, here's a little, here's what uh, Chester looks like. Isn't he cute? Where'd you put it? In roll 20. You gotta load in. Oh, I'm not in yet. <laughs> hmm. One moment. <laughs> Hold me closer, tiny clown. <laughs> <laughs> no, so it does cost you points from your list of, from your attribute points, or whatever. Does it? Uh-huh. The new and improved Chester. Uh, to be a fairy, it, call, it takes four total points. Okay, I'm loading. To be a gray, it's 12 total points. To be an arch fiend, it's 15. It's because of all the uh, oh. attributes and defects they have. That's Chester? <laughs> That's new Chester. That's Chester? <laughs> Look at the oh, that's cute. Like, though. <laughs> yes. Do you want to see what it looks like if either uh, Amanda or Hill Critter made their mimic a combat pet? Or did they? No, no, no. Not, not yet, but when one of them does, it looks like this. Oh, wow. <laughs> 16? Yeah. But yeah, just a little sneak preview of that kind of thing. But it looks like uh, right. the, uh, the parasites are just wildly powerful. Yeah, they are. So, I love y'all to death. They have immunity. Stop dude. talking about non-current Dalvera D and D stuff, please and thank you. Oh, do I still need to update my thing? I, I thought uh, I did. Your level, but uh, you leveled up. You just didn't say put yourself as level ten. Oh, that's it. <laughs> yeah, remember you took oh. the, uh, the assassin thing. Yeah. Delhart is here. He yes, has been yes, here. Yes. I did say he's, hello. Uh, he's, he's already here. And I even said hello, hero. And while you're okay. still talking, <laughs> I did want to interrupt the conversation. Right. We just so talk, hello, and talk and talk and <laughs> talk. Well, I was reading something I was enjoying, okay? Wow, you don't okay. enjoy that very. I got it. It's okay. <laughs> Our piece of cat nose came. <laughs> I enjoy this too. <laughs> so the number is 10. Okay. <laughs> yeah, level in the top right. Your character sheet. And I should have put. 
Wait, what's silence? I don't remember this. That's the thing that you got, I think, no? Oh, right. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. Whatever it does. And then assassinate. Huzzah! Yep, whatever they do. <laughs> you remember that one, right? Assassinate? Mm -hmm, yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna scroll up so I don't see it anymore because, mm -hmm, yep, mm -hmm, <laughs> stuff, things. <laughs> okay. Alright, so. Last time on Delvera, yeah, the I party really... finally made it to the final boss room. Unfortunately, unbeknownst to the party, it was not what they seemed. The boss was already in conflict with who they now know to be Silar, which is Ren's, yes, cliche, evil twin, blah blah blah, sue me. Uh, anyways, and one of the bosses, because there was actually two of them, it was a twin boss, was already had just been uh, slain by Siler. Perfect. Uh, and they saw Siler take something from the carcass of one of the bosses, and after a short scuffle, he left. And shortly after, Yuri's aide came very, very late to the party and did not contribute anything really to help out. Tisk tisk. Um, and then when they finally got back to the ship. They found out that whatever he took it was not what they needed, thankfully. Unfortunately, it was something that one of the players, aka Hill Critter, did quite enjoy. Unfortunately, he could not keep it. For now. For now. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I heard one of you saying they're going to kill everyone on the ship. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Do you know the name of the ring I got? Yes, the Ring of Command. Okay, yeah, I forgot to add it. Because I still don't know what it does, so I'm just going to have the name. Wow. I asked this you... This is what happens when people don't listen and write down things when I say it the first time. Tisk, tisk. I gave you a hint as to what it does. Yeah, you gave me a hint. But I mm -hmm. told you I was going to sit down and like study the ring to try to figure out what it does. Then we ended the session. We did... Because, very shortly, after you guys, you know, get back to the ship, whatever, you discuss your dividends and whatever, you guys take a very, very much appreciated long rest. Um, shortly after, while you guys are actually in the middle of a meal and studying your the ring and whatnot, you hear a loud, abrupt noise of shouting and clashing come from the top of the ship, because you guys are now, you know, below deck in your quarters. Eh, it's a pirate boat. We can sleep through it. It sounds like oh. a little more than just pirates. You hear explosions going on all around and shouts of pain and anger. Eh, it's a pirate boat. They're pirating and pillaging. All right, so <laughs> Lamartise is just going back to bed, I guess? Yeah, unless the crew comes and gets me to for to help, I'm going back to bed. All right, and what is the rest of the party doing? I'm going up Sleeping. to see if my uh, my <laughs> my newfound crush needs help. All right, so Just Ayame is sleeping. Hillcutter is going up, and Daleheart, what is he doing? I think he just came from <laughs> Ayama's huh? room. Well, if she's sleeping, this 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 happened like late at night. Um, no, no, no. So you guys are had you know got, already gotten your your sleep and everything. You guys healed up a oh. bit, or you know healed up, recovered your spells and everything. Um, it's about like eight nine in the morning, I guess you could say somewhere around that time. Oh, okay. As far as you can tell, like by how your body feels. Okay. Um. Uh, well, if I've done if I've done my armor. <laughs> Bear in mind, I'm wearing a, I wear a, a, a full plate, so I'm going to, I'm going to get head upstairs. Just well, maybe like, not fully upstairs, maybe halfway, uh, depending on what I hear. If there's commotion, I'll go on deck wherever the commotion's coming from. But if it's like it's nothing, I'll just head back to my. Uh, give me an insight roll then. Insight. Since you asked specifically, or you you mentioned specific things. Insight. Okay. Eesh. Eesh. 
Uh, you hear you hear a lot of things that would constitute pirate business. Okay. Uh, can I? So it's not clear what it is, or it's... yeah, you have no idea what it is. You just know that the pirates up up above deck are doing something very loud. Okay. Well, I don't want to intrude. I just want to get closer, just to get an idea if it's if there's imminent danger or not. So if I can't make out what it is at this point, I'll just get closer. But I'm not gonna get like. I gotta run up the stairs. I'll just gradually get closer until I make sense. So you're making your way to the stairs. You're just not rushing per se. Yeah, exactly. And while you see Hill Critter trot along past you, and you know, do does in fact rush upstairs. Okay, that's fine. Um, um, I don't do his thing. Does Barry tag along with you, or is he still in the room, or was he was Barry doing? Barry always follows me. Just double checking. All right, so Hooker, you get upstairs and you do in fact find a bunch of weird things going on as creatures you've never seen before start making their way around the ship. Oops, I didn't even click it. All right. All right. So as you make your way to the ship, you see all of the pirates up there are fighting these weird creatures <coughs> that seem to be covered with some sort of ichor. They're so cute. <laughs> they are. <laughs> They're cute, but they have to die. <laughs> cute means deadly. Cute means deadly. Yes, it does. Look at Barry. <laughs> so are we, are we fighting now or no? Oh yeah, you see, you see, all of the pirates are fighting these things, whatever they are. You want me to roll initiative? Yeah, I would indeed. Am Did I aware of this? <laughs> uh, no, you went back to bed. You said. Oh yeah, I did sleep. Do we have a map or? Uh, I want to know where we're positioned compared to these creatures. <laughs> so for this for this current encounter, no, it's just gonna be narrative. Okay. Theory of I'm mind. About there, just so you can see how many of which type there are. Okay. Um. The uh, blue has got kitty faces. Oh my gosh. The what? Kitty faces on the blue oh. ones. Um, just let me know whenever I, I I know it's like there's actual conflict going on, and then I can I'll join the initiative. Well, there is conflict going on, but... No, is that... Am I aware of that? I didn't go as far as... Oh, yeah, no, no, no. So you'll come in at the end, or at the start of the next round. Okay. So go ahead and give okay. me initiative any... Oh, yeah, you have initiative already. Uh, oh, no, yeah. Go ahead and give me initiative roll. Yeah, okay. Um... 19, yes. Yeah. that sound? Bam. Oh, okay, so I don't base... up. No. So this first round, I'm not acting. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Oh, is this the one for initiative? Yeah. Okay. We need to make Delhart a little bigger. There. He's barely me now. I, I'm like eight foot tall. Um, so slash R one three three. Plus these guys are only that. And so one, two. Oh wait, no, no, no. I only have. I was trying to draw them at the same time. So never mind. Go that nine. Uh, then eight. So they're only eight. They are thirteen. And then for the main cast there, she has... That is really sad. Oh, my God. I have a plus seven to mine, and I wrote a nat one. Then he's... Man, these initiative rolls are kind of lackluster. Yeah, All right, yeah. but... Uh, what was her name again? Joy is going first. 
All right, so you run up there, Hill Critter, and you see Joy taking out her her cutlass as she goes for one of the dudes with the red and goes to attack him. And she does, in fact, hit. Okay. I'm just going to do this for that one there. And then it's these guys. So as she does that, you see all the blue ones, their eyes start glowing, and they fire what looks to be something similar akin to an Eldritch Blast. All of them at the same time? Simultaneously, you know. Uh, so one, actually, Interesting. Cool. So one each is going to fire at all of you. So one, two, three, four, five. Wow. The only one that hits is the last one on Joy. <laughs> and it's a crit. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> You would have had to to crit to hit my guy, or at least get a 19. Yeah, I figured. Well, look how much damage they just did to her. Joy! <laughs> no, my beloved! Oh my god. <laughs> Does she hear me say that? If she did, you can't tell. Alright. The... Rakasha, then he takes his his um his lamp and you see him whisper something inside of it as smoke pours out and surrounds uh joy. Uh -huh. her constitution is plus his Alright. Wait, is that magic? Yeah, he healed her. What about her clothes? What? Remember, she wears clothes that magic does, like, nullifies magic? Nullifies magic of her choosing. Oh, uh, okay. All right, but now the captain gets to go. Oh, wrong thing, shoot. Uh, nope, that's not that. That would be that. Wow, she missed one of her attacks somehow. Now the reds are going. There's three of them. I'm gonna... Since you came up late, they're gonna attack each of those three, not, not you, we'll say. Okay. Wow, Ooh. they either miss or they crit. Wow, and the one that crit is on Joy again. <laughs> no, <laughs> my beloved. Too bad you're not a barbarian, right? You can just rage. I know. Or a Wookiee. Cough, cough. <laughs> 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 yeah, that raging, that raging Wookiee is, uh, it's kind of absurd. Just a tiny bit, but that's a different game. Mm. All right, Hell Critter, here we go. Time for vengeance. <laughs> <laughs> My beloved. Which one hit her? Uh, this guy right here and one, two, this guy right here. Oh, those did? <laughs> yeah, so just so you know, the blue ones are flying up in the air, so they are a bit out of melee reach. How high up in the air? I mean, I'd say out of melee reach, but, you know, you're underwater, you can breathe, you can float around, so technically not really. Yeah. You can easily reach them. You're, you, you have a lot of movement. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so um You're basically a Pegasus of the sea right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh 
feels so terrible. I hate myself now. <laughs> so I can basically, uh, how far away is this one? They're all within your reach. You're pretty fast. <laughs> well, just, you no. know, all three of these ones are on the ship. The ship's, you know, big, but not big enough that you can't reach them from where the stairs are. The stairs are, like, in the middle of the ship, so. So, so this one's 10 feet away, right? I mean, you can get him to 10 feet. I gotta change. So each of these squares aren't five feet at the no, moment? No, 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 no. Again, this is narrative. They, they're here just so you can see how many of them there are. Oh, uh, because I was going to do some flanking stuff with Barry. Yeah, just say that you have Barry surround him and you take his flank. Oh, it's all narrative? Okay, cool. Yeah, it's narrative combat right now. Yeah, well, Bank, Barry's going to go behind this guy. <laughs> and I'm going to be, like, right in front of him. And I'm going to... As, as in front of him as you can be, considering he's facing Joy. Yeah, <laughs> you, you know what I mean. Something, uh, a feeling that he will not be feeling <laughs> soon. <laughs> yeah. This one does not spark joy. <laughs> not really <laughs> myself. <laughs> so what's what are you and Barry doing? Ripping its shreds, I'm assuming. Uh, give me a second. Oh, by the way, uh, the red ones just for narrative purposes, just so you understand. These guys are seven foot tall. So a little bit shorter than me. Yeah. Okay. So uh, as a bonus action, I cast Branding Smite. Yep, yep. The next time you hit a creature, yep, that's a bonus action. Yep, yep. Yep, 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 yep. And uh, can... I'm going to uh, poke him with my stick. And you hit? For 10 plus 2d6 radiant, so let me do this real quick, plus 10. All right, roll your radiant. Slash R space 2d6. <laughs> Poor Jared. Plus that. Oh, wow. You did just enough to finish him off. Oh. Uh, okay. <laughs> Anything else from you and or Barry? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we still have movement in. <laughs> I have another attack. Yeah, you can easily reach another one of these two. Yep. Or actually, since you're close to her, you can actually reach the guy who shot at her. Oh, I can reach him. Yes, sir. Well, Barry's going to swim behind him. <laughs> I just picture a giant metal bear swimming. <laughs> I should probably open Barry's character sheet. Uh, me and Barry surround him on both sides. Do. Do, 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 do. And Barry's just gonna needle skedeedle. Oh, nice, a crit. Did you fix this thing? Good, you did. Wow, you just, yeah, sure, just roll almost max damage, sure. Cool. Um, oh, wait. Is, is it not dead yet? No, no. You just attacked him for the first time. Uh, but he is that. Okay, now Hail Critter's turn. Well, you already... Oh, that, I, I forgot to change it to Barry. Force Empowered Rand is Barry's attack. Yeah, I know. I know. For my last attack. You have two attacks, right? Yeah, I have extra attack. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm poking with my tail. Your other tail. You miss. I'm joking. I'm joking. I only did. I'm so sad. You but, only did five. But I can do this to see if this goes off. You only did five? Yeah, I only did five. 
Wow, you're so I rolled a one. You're terrible. <laughs> um, it's only a D8. Magnetic Quartet doesn't do much damage. Wait. Delmar, did you not roll an issue? You did not roll an issue. Delmar, roll an issue. Uh, I... I You're did actually. Asleep. I rolled a nineteen. You did? I did. I rolled a nineteen. Did you click your character portion first? Oh, maybe I didn't. All right, there we go. I'll do it. It's okay. No, no, he did roll a nine. He rolled right after my eight. All right, so you'll be second now. Cool. Thank you. Um, and no, blue, you will not. Roll initiative because you said you went back to sleep. Dale Hart went to the stairs, so he's actually being cautious about what's going on, and he will come to realize that oh, sh there's a battle going on. They could roll initiative, then roll perception to see if they wake up again. Uh, yeah, at the end, at the end of each round, I'm gonna have them. Actually, this is the end of the round, so uh, yeah, roll perception to see if the noise keeps you up. Let's see if I can actually roll something unlike last night. Last night I didn't roll anything. Wow. Um, okay. I, I, I think you rolled something unlike last night. Yeah, apparently so. Last night I had a, so I had a plus seven to, to survival and I tried to tie someone up. Um, so that way they wouldn't move while we went off and explored and I couldn't roll above a one. Okay, um, can you roll perception? No away, cat. I'm a cat. I'm a kitty cat. Perception, you said? Yes, ma'am. Right, you with what? Am I what? awake? Uh, so let's keep the 15. Um, so. Because of you know how good your hearing is, you do keep <laughs> from falling asleep. You you are kept from falling asleep, I should say, mm -hmm. because excuse me of the loud clamor that's going on above, and then you hear, you do hear Hillcrater, my love, no, it's <laughs> my beloved, or whatever, my, my precious, precious, yes, 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 and uh oh, so, about so yes you you hear that stuff going on and it's keeping you from falling asleep and they are what? making you angry oh what? yeah i am oh, absolutely oh, angry like who the heck is messing with my sleep first things first <laughs> you met siler's evil twin and he made you angry he killed the boss and you guys killed the other boss because of reasons unknown, even though you wanted to keep him alive. Uh, um, no, Yuri's aide did not come in time to help you. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Thing. You're right. You finally get some long deserved sleep, and now they're being so loud and rude. Uh, that's exactly what No, we what didn't she kill like. the other boss. He's, we left him unconscious. No, he's dead. I'm pretty he sure died. we left him unconscious. Yeah, we didn't kill him, I think. Because we didn't... Like, for some reason, I think I was able to tell or convince oh, everybody yeah, not yeah, to right, right, get right. the yep, core. Yep, 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 yep. Or, he's unconscious, that's right. Yep. I, have, I see my notes, yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. Uh, I should be half that size. Spoiler. <laughs> I'm just doing so that the people in your stream can see you. But she's not accurate. She's the same size as... Okay, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> That's more uh, accurate. Moving it. <laughs> Who's moving it? Me. Oh. <laughs> yeah, cause like, if you if you see that, yeah, that's pretty accurate right there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What, what was that? You just leave her there because she actually fits in the portrait without okay. covering him. Okay. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I can use her kadachis and her stuff as toothpicks. <laughs> No. I don't think they you, know you, know you know what, Hell Creator? Go for it. Let me just do some GM rules here um. for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> See how many different types of poison you get injected with. <laughs> I'm just saying, but Kadachis are actually a lot, like a hundred times bigger than what you think. Anyway, so she's grunting, right. getting out of her bed. She takes her cloak, 
wears it and takes a peek outside. So you go, you go, you make your way to roll hands. First roll initiative. Oh, right. <laughs> yes, I need you to roll initiative. And, um, Lombardi's, you <laughs> roll initiative with advantage. Huzzah. Initiative with advantage? So let's roll it twice. Did you? Okay. Let me uh, grab my dude and put him on the map. Uh, hey, dude, bro. What is that water sound? Who's splashing the water? Oh, it's me. I'm washing dishes. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. No, I'm good. I just, just... got a multitask. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, completely understandable. No, that's just game ambiance. Indeed. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh. All right. So, 10. Actually, we'll go to 11. I figured doing dishes was fitting because we're underwater. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> They're like SpongeBob with a pool <laughs> and the yeah. beach. You can call I'm, it DJ Rhythm Bot. Uh, that's okay. I'm currently playing uh, while I'm waiting on my turns to happen. I'm playing World of Warships, so I'm I'm fighting on a ship above the water. All right, and now time to kick him from the voice channel. Oh, I'm just kidding. Oh, gee, thanks. <laughs> so, Captain Amberlin. Is gonna attack her dude there, and she will hit both times. Oh boy, oh boy. Uh, let me get to her, yep. So, one, two. Uh, wow, he was healthy, and now he is the dead. Dude, why can't my spear do that? What? Because she's a higher level than you. But 2D tier? What, what, what is she using? Uh, a cutlass, which is normally 1d6, 1d8. Okay. Anyways, Ayame, so you said you, you climb out of bed begrudgingly, groaning, you drape your cloak over your head, you make your way towards the staircase, and you see Dalehart creeping his way over there as well, cautiously, but affirmatively. Do you move past him, or...? You said you wanted to go up and take a peek, right? Or are you changing your mind because now that you see that he's there? Yeah, I kind of changed my mind because if he's there being cautious, then I'm just going to be behind him. Close by. All right. Um, go ahead and give me a stealth check while we're here. A 13. <laughs> ah! Um, I don't think that's good enough. Hold up a second. And Dale Hart character I could see her. Yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on. Exactly hold on. Wait, 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 That's a trace no, that's bonus. That means you can't be tracked. Yeah. That just means they can't follow you. I post <laughs> stealth checks while stationary. Well, she was moving up there. So, anyways, Dale Hart, as you are being cautious, moving up to the staircase, being like, all right, what the heck is going on over here? You do hear the little pitter-patter of a certain little elfling. No, you don't. I got light steps. Well, confound it all. <laughs> you hear the shuffling of the invisibility cloak she's wearing, sure. uh, dragging along the ground. <laughs> <laughs> it's ever okay. so slightly, but you barely managed to... Catch it because you're being conscious, and you turn around, and because of your special uh, abilities, you do in fact see her creeping along with her little cloak over her. Okay. Um, um, this, and now it's your turn. Is it, it's my turn. I'm just going to. Uh, so I I, I tell um, Ayami that. Uh, oh, you startled me. I was about to uh, do. Uh, to alert you all that there seems to be seems to be some commotion upstairs. Oh. So um, I head upstairs. Um, I have free movement, so I, what I want to do is get to a place where I can have as much of as many of my allies in a thirty foot radius around me. You get all I ride them. along, by the way. <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> of I course I do. To hear that. <laughs> and uh, at this point, I'd be surprised if I didn't hear you say that. <laughs> is it right. is it possible for me to do that while also coming in 
like ending adjacent to uh, any enemy. An enemy preferably, to an enemy. Preferably one that an, an ally is already engaged. Uh, high or low? Or... High or low? High, 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 high. Always high. All right, hey, you can get next to the red guy and still be have everyone enveloped in your aura. Who's fighting? Who's fighting the red? Uh, this guy right here, the Rakasha, is currently fighting. Fuck that guy. I'm not, no, I am not helping that guy. Fuck that guy. All right, then um, what do you do? My my imminent imminent, imminent allies, party member. No, no, uh, this guy is currently engaged with Hook Critter and Barry. Other than that, the others are a bit away from the other party members. Okay, I'm just gonna head uh, if yeah if I can head head adjacent to the one that Barry and Hill Critter are fighting. And, uh, uh, you can't get next to uh, if you do, then not everyone will be actually. Funny enough, if you get near him, the two there will be two people that you will not envelop. It will be the Rakasha and the Captain. I don't care about Rakasha, the Rakshasa and the. Captain. All right. So, okay. are you okay with being outside or having the Captain outside of your aura? Yeah, that's fine. She seems like a strong woman who can handle herself. Yeah, I'm sure she she's can. a strong, independent woman. <laughs> no, a strong, no independent white woman who don't need no man. <laughs> so, um, I cast Bless. On how as a quick, two, well, as a bonus three, action, I use four, Quick five. and Meta Magic to cast Bless. Oh yeah, that's a, it's already six people, right? Three. Oh, check. three. I will. That's up to three creatures. Yeah. Lose so... with you, so. Can't uh, bless Barry. He is not a creature. He is a. Everything oh, is considered a creature. So it's going to be me. Uh, if it is not an inanimate object, it is a creature. Or construct. Okay, I'm going oh, to choose. Right. I'll choose me, Ayame, and Hill Critter. Right. Barry's Just a because construct. nobody else of the party is there. So. Sorry, Lamar. Yeah. Um, my also my uh my aura protection is active, so that's that's fifteen though. So the bless is 15. If I can target all three of us, that'd be great. And that's my bonus action. And then as a standard action, I'm just going to uh, do a attack action on whoever is adjacent Barry. Mm -hmm. Little flying, little blue thing. Actually, yeah. Um, yes, Dale Hart. Give mm -hmm. me a... Just give me a wisdom check. So literally go to your ability scores and hit... The word wisdom. Oh, I did a saving throw. I am so sorry. That's fine. Just hit hit wisdom on your ability scores, not the saves. Yep. Wow, it's wah, even wah, wah. higher. You rolled a three last time with a total of eleven, a plus eleven. Here you rolled an eighteen with a plus three and <laughs> got higher. <laughs> All right. Uh, you realize these are demons. Demon. Oh, nice. These are okay. some more man-made demon. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, that's great. The blue one has a cat face. <laughs> they don't look like deep. Okay. Um, okay, so I'm going to uh, the other fiends. Yeah. Kind of. It's all black. Again, these are man-made demon. So man-made oh, fiends, so technically, yeah. Good. Okay. So I don't have advantage because Hill Critter and Barry are attacking, correct? They're flanking him. Yes, you have advantage. <laughs> awesome. You absolutely have advantage. Also, okay. keep in mind, he does have that little heart icon, so he's already at, at least half dead. Just to help you out so you're not you know, wasting smites and stuff. Cool. Uh, just Unless you want to. Um, how many uh, feet did I move so out of my 30 feet? Pretty much moving. most of it. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, so these, yeah, these blue them. guys are pretty much on the outskirts of the ship. So you're you're actually not on the ship anymore. You're in the watery area. Gotcha. Okay. So I'll just um, so I'll attack it once. With advantage. It's a good thing you had advantage. My goodness, yes. that nat one. But yes, you definitely most assuredly hit. Don't even bother rolling damage. It literally has two health. Okay. So I don't have enough movement to move to another target. No, unfortunately. That's fine. No that's fine. So that's Is a there thing. anything else you can do though? Oh yeah, you're no, using bonus action. Use bonus right. standard movement. I'm done. All right, now it's the, for the blue guy's turn again. By the way, let me let me see my notes here. Um, this one. 
Is it possible for me to have uh, position myself around the enemy so that I would have both Barry and Lamartise adjacent to me? Lamartise isn't here yet. No, oh, sorry, no, I meant Hillcrater, I'm sorry. Yeah, hey, they're both pretty much next to you. Perfect, just one because I want to use Sentinel so I to work. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll say you have just a moment to actually get to where the other thing was, you know, which would okay. allow you to be literally between them. Okay, sounds good. Um, all right, hang on, I gotta wait for something to load. Uh, here. Load, please, thank you. All right. Uh, You're loading elite.exe, right? No, I'm, I'm loading um, fortune.net. I will be right back. I should well, be back before good, my I'll turn. Go on there. B and S. Uh, where is it? What the heck? Oh, there it is. Ah, okay. Never mind then. All right. So. Blue guys turn. There are four of them left. Um, two of them are going to gang up on the captain. One of them is going to go after slash R one B two. Of course, go after hip critter, and the other one is going to stay on uh, the first mate, whose name I forget all the time. Callahad. I'm so glad I wrote the names down. So, first things first, uh, 1d20 plus three for them. One, two. They both miss horrifically. Wow. All right, all four of the blue guys missed terribly. This is going a lot worse than the last session's enemies. I am very, very disappointed. Um, I was hoping that at least hurt some of you. The only person I've hurt was Joy, who I crit twice. All right, Lamartis. Um, so you wake up with the start, hearing the commotion that you know all too well to be the sound of battle, given your experience in the gladiator pits. Hold on, I got cat. Ah. Uh. Oh. Okay. What? So, we hear sounds that are all too familiar to you as to be the sounds of battle due to your time in the gladiator pits, so you jumpstart awake to the sound. Well, uh, it's going to take me ten rounds to put my armor on, so I'm going to grab my sword and go upstairs. Oh, yeah. So my AC is a 15. Right. I totally forgot about that armor stuff. Um, Hillcare, what's your AC without your armor? <clears throat> I am back. Hilker, what is your AC without your armor? Without my armor? You didn't say you put it on, and it takes 10 minutes to put it on, so... I, I never went to sleep. You had to have gone to sleep when you first got to the ship after the end of the last session. I said I was making stuff. I made that pendant, and I was investigating my ring. So you never went to sleep? No. It's been at least a solid day, right? Yeah. You would have gone to sleep. I don't know my AC without my armor. Well, it's 10 plus your dex. If plus that... your shield, plus your shield. You do have your shield. You cannot go without the shield. Well, technically you could, but... Go so, for 14. Alright, cool. Just, I mean, no one's attacking you right now, but... It's not really going to come into effect because I'm pretty sure everything's going to be dead by the time anything does attack you now. Because, again, I, he rolled a 7 on you, so it doesn't even matter. Even okay. if you had a flat 10, it still would have hit you. Oh, it makes me so angry. Oh, haste action. Okay. Yes, that's why I hate haste. 
It's better to just attack twice instead of haste and then next turn attack. It's fucking stupid. Yeah, but if you don't have the ability to attack twice. No, 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 no. Turn one, haste. Turn two, attack twice. Yeah. Or attack with advantage. Cool. Turn one, attack, possibly hit. Turn two, attack, possibly hit. You have two possible chances to hit and deal double damage as opposed to hitting once with advantage. No. Statistically, haste, it's better. No, haste doesn't give you advantage. Haste gives you an additional attack. Oh, right, right, sorry. I'm thinking of um, True Strike. You're, That's the yeah, you're thinking of True Strike. True, true Strike, strike you can never get. Super dumb spell. And it's an I was going to say, this is actually pretty good. Sorry, sorry, it's been a while. My brain is confuggled, confuggled, befuddled, befuddled, befuddled. I don't know what I was thinking of trying to say. Befuddled? Jeez, that's that's how you know my brain is mush. <laughs> I can't think of the right word to say. I can't think of words. <laughs> so, that's an action. Oh, God, I wish Haystaga, by the way, Haystaga, not Haystaga. What? <laughs> uh, streamer chats. Oh. Hey, hey, Sara, hey, Staga, hey, Staza. Oh. I... Oh, but anyways. How, so how long does it take me to get up to the, uh, up to where the... You fly. You can get up to there. Unfortunately, from your room straight to here, um, you'd have to dash to get next to an enemy. So I'll come out. Um, Actually, you know what? You know what? I'm going to recant that. We're in there to combat. You can run to an end or fly to an enemy. Screw it. Why? I was just going to throw a firebolt. Oh, Jesus. Okay. So you run up there. You see these things up here that everyone seems to be fighting. Uh, you can quickly deduce. Yes, these things are possibly enemies. I'll shoot that one. Which one is that one? I don't know. That one. Okay, cool. I'll scroll. I had. I was on the bottom of the screen. I, I didn't see. Phew. Thirteen. You know the sad part is 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 you're you're about to miss. Okay. Okay. That's my turn. Okay. No, you're dying. Can I? Can I tell uh, Lamartes that these are potentially fiends? Oh, Lamartes is in range of your auras and stuff, by the way. Okay, well, yeah, he doesn't have Bless, unfortunately, but he does have no. my, yeah, if he's 10 feet away, he's got aura protection. But yeah, I just want to let him know that these are- Oh, it's only like, 10 feet, never mind. It's 10 feet. Oh, you had a 30 foot aura thing? No, 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 no. Bless okay. was 30 feet, but that was uh, just for the cast. Right, okay, okay. All right, so yes, um, Delhart tells you, Lamarius, when you when you come up there, that these things are fiends. Okay. All right, who is next? It is Kalahad. Uh, he's gonna get out an exasperated sigh and go to heal Joy again. For another. And, oh, Joy, it's the captain's turn, who just flies straight towards one of the blue guys. And she misses with her first hit. That is very disappointing. Um, all right. And she goes to cut this thing. Blam, blam, blam. It is now Hilkrew's turn. Wait. Oh, it is my turn? Hold on. I'm confused. Oh my god. No, no, never mind. 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 Uh, I was wrong. I was mistaken. It is Hilkrew's turn. Oh, yeah. Okay. You guys are level 10 now. Um, no, never mind. I'm not going to do that. Okay, so um, how far apart are these two guys? Far enough that you cannot hit both of them. No, how far apart are they from each other? Well, I need to know why you're asking. Area. There's no real... Like, what are you trying to hit them with? Six. 
60 foot cone. Oh yeah, they're, they're definitely within 60 feet of each other. Oh wait, no, 60 foot can. I'm pretty sure it's still in range. Uh, images, oh yeah, they're definitely in range. Holy crap. Yeah. The one, two, Just make sure nobody else is in that cone. Yeah, that, that's 12 squares side, uh, between them. Or 10 squares between them, I should say. Well, I could... Well, they're not going to be in the cone because everybody's, like, floating on different levels. Yeah, well, uh, so... He's talking about my friends or allies. Here, look, look. There you go. What'd you do? Look in, look in, um, D and D Dalvera, RPG corner. RPG what? Dalvera. Actually, I got a better one. Yeah. D and D Dalvera. Oh. There. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's ridiculous. <laughs> so I could actually hit all three of these guys? Yes. Um, you'll also be hitting the captain. Okay, I tell the captain <laughs> to duck. <laughs> uh... So, the first I'm going to do these guys. Uh, dexterity, right? Yeah. So they're saved, so they actually get a bonus. One, two, three. Only one makes the save. Go ahead and roll your damage, by the way. And now the captain. He should get advantage since I told her the duck. She makes the save. Okay. And no. <laughs> Ooh. All right. Um, and I have to take off one of my spear. I well, the, the captain takes ten damage. That's okay. He takes ten damage. Oh no, he failed, so he takes all of this. He's dead. He failed, so he takes that, and he passed, so he only takes a lot of that. All right. Let me see. Hey. Damage type is the same as that of the weapon. It's a spear. It's piercing. You throw a non-magical weapon. Oh, oh, you threw your weapon. No, I have a spear. Oh, you threw just two a normal spear. Just a spear. All right, so now I have to ask another question, because... <sighs> did you drop your other spear then? Or did you drop your shield to pull out this random spear? I just let go of my other spear and it just floats in front of me. That's what I'm asking. You don't currently have spear. I'm currently not. I still haven't moved. <laughs> Can I use my move action or my bonus action to pick it up? Yeah. Okay, then yeah. Which one, move or bonus? Whichever one. I'll use my bonus action, pick it up. And then I am going to use my extra attack to hit this guy over here. And Barry's gonna. Can Barry move to one of these guys? Does he um, have enough movement? He has yeah. 40 feet of movement. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay, well, I'm gonna go here. Eh. Swing. Where are you? Add, you can add Attacking one D4 the, to that. This one. Oh, this one. Okay, I see you. Say it uh, again. D4. What's up? You should add one D4 to his attack roll. Uh, he moved away from you. Oh, no. Bless, bless, bless. Right, yeah. Bless, yeah. But I got and a 20, well, 23 hits anyways, so. Yeah, but just so he knows, he's got one D4. He can always yep. roll a one D4 and all of his attack. Go ahead and 
Nein. Is your did you put your magic horse tail or your shield as a plus two? Yeah, you never sent me the stuff for my uh, shield. Or no, the magic horse tail, so I didn't pick. I thought I did, but all right. I'll get to you after. You, uh, you, <clears throat> one of them you didn't have all the way up. It was the tail. All right, hang on. One second. Um, oh. Yeah, tail. Okay, so. All right. All right. Anything else? Uh, did uh, did that thirteen go off or no? No. No, it has to be a sixteen or higher. Uh, it's a twenty five percent chance. Oh yeah. Okay. Are you gonna use your second attack or? No, my first. All oh, right, right, right. Yeah, my yeah. first attack was my. Conjure thing, but barely. Oh, wait, no, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 you can't attack. You cannot attack. If you use a spell for your action, you don't get a second attack. You have two attack actions or two attacks when you take the attack action. Using, a, using an attack spell isn't an attack action? No, you're using a spell. Uh, Jared, correct me if I'm wrong, please. You cannot make a melee attack and then make a spell attack, no. All right. If you are going to, a, if, what did you do? I made a spell attack, then a melee attack. You cannot do that. You can either make two melee attacks or a spell, at, or you can cast a spell. Oh, yes. well, take away nine damage from that guy then. Yeah, I just did. Yep. And I will. Instead, flank the guy that Barry is going to soon attack. No, I'm going to. Uh. I'm looking out on the tail. See what up. Uh, Zenith, there are some spells. Uh, that say as part of casting this spell make an attack and when you hit a creature with the spell do this like branding smite for example or hellish yeah. rebuke yes or well, hellish rebuke is a, is a reaction or, yeah I'll, I'll just I'll just go up here and let Barry attack or green flame there's a handful of spells yeah green flame blade make... and branding smite are yeah. the two most notable ones there's a handful of spells that will make that will force you to make a melee attack, but it, you are not taking the attack action. Yes. Yeah, you're you're taking the cast a spell action, even though those spells say you do make physical attack as part of the spell. Oh. You're still <laughs> casting a spell. Barry yeah. failed epically. <laughs> All right. So Barry, even with advantage, regrettably failed. Womp, womp. All right, this dude, he is still going to attack the Rakasha, much to Dale Hart's happiness. Unfortunately for Dale Hart, it missed. <laughs> uh, actually, can uh, Didn't I specify I, no. I included him in my bless? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> I will allow you to remove the bless from yourself if you give it to this dude. <laughs> Not that it will make no. it anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now it's Joy's turn. She's going to move up to the creature and attack him. Uh, she gets plus five and she hits. Mm. Half dead. <clears throat> ah, yummy. Finally. Right. Oh my gosh. All these people stealing all your kills. <laughs> um. You're so angry now. <laughs> uh, 
What creature is... For, for this round and this round only, Ayame has rage. Flankable. <laughs> uh, the red guy, the blue guy up here. That's it. The other hmm. two are not surrounded. Okay, well, I observe this as my standard action. And then I just... You observe the guy that's halfway dead? Oh, is it? You can see the heart? Oh, it's so tiny. <laughs> I know. I wish I could see it. It's so tiny, I couldn't see it. Um, uh, let me see, can I expand it? Token bar? No. No, okay. No, uh, can't. Fine, I will, you know, um, observe this one as my standard action. All right. Do so I, I guess I'm over so here. I can see? Oh. Uh, Click what? Observe. What are you doing? Oh, this. Yeah, thank you. Just so I can read it and understand. Sure. Oh, okay, okay. Just make sure it's not the same thing that freaking <laughs> archers or rangers have. If you observe, you're talking for one minute. Sorry, fighters. Champion fighters. If you observe, you're talking for one minute, you can determine certain things about it. Oh, no. I can just instantly kill it. Yeah, yeah, for one round. Yes. Yeah, they, they need to, like, really do something to buff it's, champions. For, for, yeah, for, for me, for my, if, if I haven't played as a champion, it's not going to be for a full minute. It's going to be for, like, one round, all right? Because... Champion, I just finished playing a champion fighter, and it's a monster house in some combat. Uh, yes, I absolutely love it. Especially it's with Polar Master and <laughs> every there's no it sucks. Yeah, it can't do anything except fight. It literally cannot assist with anything else. That's why he's a cook. <laughs> mine, mine is. <laughs> All right, Dale Hart. Do you want to uh, attack the guy that's attacking the Rakasha, or do you want to move to a different enemy? Fuck the Rakasha. Okay, I'm gonna go to. Uh, I was joining. What? Joy. What about her? How is she doing? She's all right. She's Definitely a lot better her. than the fight with Hill Critter that she had. Well, I'll go into Sister then if I can get. Can I move adjacent to the target she's fighting? Which is the guy that's that? fighting the Rakasha? Oh, really? Yep. This guy is uncontested. This guy is uncontested. And this guy is flanked by those three. Okay, fuck it. I'll attack the guy that is a, that both Joy and the Rakshasa are fighting. Okay. Uh, I, I just want to. I just want to move in the position. Can I move in the position to? I don't know. Are they flanking the? the yeah, yeah. The demon. Okay, so yeah. I'll just move adjacent to the demon. I mean, I'll just, I'll just wail on it. Okay. Yeah. And anyways, I started wailing. So anyways, I started slashing. First attack. I'm gonna roll. A, let me roll my D4 first. Yes. Get a two. 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 Ah shit! It's slash, slash R. R. Slash R. <laughs> In a space. Yes. I've never seen R slash or anything slash first. <laughs> Right, you hit. I hit perfect. Thank you, Bless. Okay. Uh, yes, the Bless made you hit. Otherwise, you would have missed. He basically has permanent, almost permanent mini hero dice. <laughs> <laughs> seven damage. Uh, I'll attack again. It's the head. Plus seven. Yeah, it's still alive. And that Should definitely hits. Ooh. There we go, much better damage. Oh, yep, that's enough. Oh boy, oh, this is great. Um, Go ahead and give me a dexterity save. Dexterity save. Or take 17 damage. Uh, slash R1D20 plus... Nice. Five, oh, did I roll, no, I roll it's a nine, advantage. it's a nine. I roll with advantage. <laughs> And he rolls a three. So she makes the save. You and the Raksasha fail and both take 17 damage. Is this elemental damage? Uh, no, actually. So the thing, 
as you slash it, it bubbles up and explodes, and you get hit by what seems to be acidic blood. Oh, I know what it is. The, the reason I'm asking is if can I use um, my reaction to cast? Um... It's Damon blood. It's not. It's not elemental. It's. It's not elemental. Okay. Okay. It, again, it's, it's literally blood. Okay. So what's the damage? Seventeen. Seventeen. And she takes half of that, so plus eight. The Rexasha also takes the full seventeen. What's the range of this thing when you blow up? Five feet. Yeah, it's just it's just five feet, or it's ten feet for the explosion. Really, actually, sorry. But um, Jared's not actually there. He's I just put his character there when he came up to here, but he's like in the middle of the ship, kind of. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's. Uh, I don't think unless I can move to another target. Yeah, you didn't really move very far at all, so you can easily make it to this guy right here. Okay, I'll do that then. Okay. I'll do my. Oh wait. wait. Okay, I'm going to use a quicken meta magic. <clears throat> Bonus action, I'm going to cast Boomy. Oh yeah, so that's another thing. Uh, Hillcrater, he can cast a spell because he's using cook uh, meta magic oh, I know. quicken as a bonus action, not his action. I know. All right, just I know what I know what quicken meta magic does. I just didn't know I couldn't use a spell in a melee. Yeah, nope. no. I wish. But no, that would make hybrid spellcasters Oh, uh, do I have advantage against this guy? Uh, no. Oh, it doesn't matter. You hit anyways. Okay. It doesn't matter. I'm so confused why it's gray. Uh... Because, because it's to roll power. with advantage. That's why. Uh, that's really weird. Uh, so right. 11 slashing, 11 slashing, 4 thunder damage. He moves uh, till the end of before the end of my next turn. He uh, will take another two D8 thunder. All right, and you also harness the power of thunder, or no? I do. Why not? Why All not? right. Uh, plus okay. fifteen. That means he is halfway dead. And now it's his turn. Time for revenge. Ah, oh, no. <laughs> And do you want the good news? Sure. This is a ranged only creature, so he's gonna move away from me, so he does not have disadvantage. Roll a 2d8. Okay, and he also provokes an opportunity attack. Yeah, so he's probably okay. dead. So roll. So roll. Slash. <laughs> 2d8. Okay. Six thunder damage. Alright. Is he alive? Yeah. Go ahead and so, your attack uh, opportunity. I'll use my reaction to do an attack of opportunity, but I'll use Warcaster to cast Booming Blade again as an attack of opportunity. Jeez. So if he moves again after that, he's going to get more. Yep. Hey, Chris. If he lives after this Booming Blade, what's up? I'm going to message you something, and I'm going to want your yay or nay on it. All right. I'll give you an indecisive. How about that? Okay. <laughs> Where's your second blue blade, Dale? Yeah, sorry, I have to move the advantage. I'll use my 1d4. Uh, oh. That hits. No, that hits. 15 hits? Really? Yeah, yeah. They only have 14. Okay. So, yeah. Perfect. Oh. Uh, is dead. Nice. Perfect. Um... Your name for. Oh, does he blow up too? Yes. Um, you cannot actually. This is gargantuan. Uh, let me reread it. Because you can turn into a T Rex. Mm, yeah. Sure. Yeah. It just has to be a. It just has to be a beast. Yeah, it just have to be. It has to be a beast, and it has to be within the CR range. So T Rex works for polymorph. That's the what the discussion. And since, about. and if I'm the target, it can be up to my level. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't think there's a lot of beasts that have CR 10 in them. Nah, you had to, I, I had to go to the D&D wiki to find, to find it, to find it. Oh, there was actually a, a beast that's CR 10 or 9? Cool. It's technically homebrew. Oh. Uh, it's a giant dinosaur. I, I, I want to know if Chris will let me do it. Of course it's a dinosaur. Because we're in, you know, the middle of an ocean layer. Are you turning into a megalodon? Can a T-Rex swim with its stinky arm? Hmm. Well, I mean, we well, can we're, walk. We're technically no. not swimming. It would just it would have been funny. It's fine. I just want to do. I just want to do something wacky. Um. Wait. Let me, let me take this thing real quick. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. T-Rex is pretty dope, though. You could swallow it. So you know, your intelligence is going to be dropped to that same intelligence. That's fine. It would just be hilarious, I think. <laughs> I'm going to have to take control of your character if you do that. But yeah, you can totally do it. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's, it's a challenge rate. It's challenge 10. You can do it. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> Hang on, I got to save image now. Hang on. Now I gotta go back to this. Gonna if go I here. have to fight Jared, uh, oh, my, I'm gonna kill him. And he's Good. gonna die. Please do. Are you are you doing that on your turn? <laughs> I don't know yet. The idea yeah. of it is absolutely hilarious. Wait, do, do the others know? Do you sense? No, people? they don't know. Good, 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 good. good. I'm just I picking up on whatever you guys are saying, ish. All right, um, all three of you up at the top. Go ahead and get your tax opportunity as this little guy's gonna try to swim away from you guys to blast you. So Barry Hill Trader Ayame, attack of opportunity. He's probably gonna die painfully, miserably, horrifically. Uh can I power? Uh, uh, Hill hits. What? Power? Yeah. Sneaky power? Okay. Is it sneaky power? power? Sneaky power. You're flanking him. Yeah, okay, sneaky power it is. Sweet! <laughs> right, so that's two hits. That's three hits. Jesus Christ. Oh, By the God. way, oh, remember um, yeah. Yeah. my assassination. Yeah, I know. He's. I, that's why I say he's probably going to be dead anyways. Plus the need, bleeding. You, roll, Plus. you don't even need to roll. You don't even need to roll damage. He only has 30 health. He already took 10 damage. <laughs> oh, we only have one left. I have one left. Oh, man. Gonna, <laughs> I'm not going to do it with only one left. Lamartis, give me a perception if you're actually seeing if there's only one left. Here comes the natural one. Let's, let's hope not <laughs> for my no, sake. No, All right, good. No. I'm going to say that's good enough. <laughs> okay. It doesn't happen then. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Do we gain XP if we defeat our party members, Paul and Morph? <laughs> you get milestones, so it doesn't matter oh. about XP. Right, sorry. Alright, and now these things start flying in from afar. Oh my gosh. Oh. Okay. Uh, chicken? <laughs> chicken. Alright, Chris. I do it. I let out a scream. Wait, did this guy just no. enter my threat range, Chris? No, 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 no. There are... Yeah, I'll, I'll readjust these things for you guys. You guys want to be like, you know, whatever. No, I'm just tell, say, asking if he enters my threat range, I'm going to hit him. Not yet. Because I get to use... 
Well, duh, I've already used my. <clears throat> Alright, I'm already used. <laughs> I do the thing. Just because it'd be hilarious to do it. Right, so I'm gonna do this. Oh, That's the only the reason why I'm doing gone. it. Game. Game. Alright, and in his place, you see this thing. A megalodon. No, that's no. not a megalodon. What is that's that? A, it's a uh, Pilosaurus. It's a gargantuan beast. It's oh, a, oh my god. Not, it's a, I can't even see my creatures anymore. Let's <laughs> really put you this way. Can he you put him? Class. He has an armor class of 19. He has 304 hit points. He has a swim speed of 90. A strength of 27. Dexterity of 10. Constitution of 19. Charisma of six, wisdom of ten, and an intelligence of two. Oh, by the way, he can only hold his breath for sixty minutes. Well, I okay. mean, we've been able to breathe, anyways, though. I know. Yeah, swim of 90, 90 feet. He's like a whale, basically. Okay. I'm part crocodile, part whale. Can you put him underneath our creature tokens so we can see our stuff? <laughs> There you go. There's the game board now. <laughs> can y'all? Can you put him underneath our our tokens? Nope. <laughs> Please, <laughs> Please. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh god! I can't go to the corner. There it is. Okay. All right. So he's pretty much the same size as the whale. Now the mimic whale ship. Um, yeah. <laughs> Does the mimic try to breed him, or the whale try to breed him? No. Oh damn. Uh, actually, um. No. You all, you all hear a very loud, audible, deep sigh coming from the whale. Like, oh, oh my god. <laughs> um. Lamartis. What are what? you doing? Oh wait, that's me. <laughs> Time to go chomping. Alright, so I'm going to let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. One, two, three, four, five, six. There are fourteen entities around this area. Let's see which three you are attacking with your one attack. No, nope, he can't see me. Right, so 1d11. <laughs> One, two, three. <gasps> Wait, am I doing it wrong? Oh my god. I did, yes, I you're wrong. So one, 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 two, three. <laughs> hey, it's still a one. So this guy right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, <laughs> eight, nine. Oh. <laughs> oh. All right, um, Jared, go ahead and roll 3d8 plus, or no, sorry, roll 1d20 plus 12. 3 times. This is the only time I'm doing this, by the way. <laughs> uh-huh, sure. It's just, it's the new spell, and I want to do, and I want to do something super wacky with it. <laughs> and you are. <laughs> That's a hit, that's a miss, and that is a hit. So give me two rolls of 3d8 plus eight. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh my God. All right, go ahead and give me 3d8 plus eight twice. Yeah, because you hit twice. All right, so, wow, that is a very or interesting joy. set of rolls. <laughs> yeah, so this guy takes 18 or 16, and Joy takes 16, and you are considered grappled with both of them. At the start of your next turn, you automatically deal 1d8 plus 4 piercing damage to, to all targets you are grappled with. However, you cannot make another bite attack unless you let go of them, which I will determine that later. Nom nom nom. Nom 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 nom. All right, it is the it is Kaladash's turn, or Kalahad. Sorry. 
Uh, he's gonna, you know, freak the hell out and swim away from y'all and go for this guy over here. Actually, no, he's gonna go for this guy right here because he's closer. And he's gonna try to slash him. And when I say try, I mean, I mean, oh wow, I mean, he will hit. That's surprising considering he's not really much of a melee person. As you can see by his damage. Oh my god. All right, this thing's halfway dead. I forgot to put that. Um, yeah. Captain Amberland's turn. She's gonna run into this guy right here. Oh, this guy's not. Okay. Is he in my No. Okay. I already told you they're not in your range at the moment. Oh, shoot. Did I give them... The, um... Here, let me go ahead and refresh the descending order. Go back to... Alright. The Shebin, one, two. She will hit both times. Barely low. We need a turn order for the whale. No, no, no. I know where he goes. Don't worry. Okay. Um. Wow. He is left with it. Hell Crater, you and Barry. Uh, swim to that one. <laughs> Yes, this is this is oh. <laughs> Wait. All right, you swim towards it. As okay. as I'm going towards him, like making my way towards him. Making my way down. To, sorry. Yep. I cast this as my bonus action. action your speed increases and you don't provoke all right so go ahead and do 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 all right and yeah when i get to him i'm going to be on the opposite side of the captain Mm -hmm. I'm gonna use my blessed You still Just... miss. Really? Do you okay. miss hero die? Man. No? Okay. Well, sure, why not? Okay. What are those again? One D, uh, D6s? Two D6, take the highest take the, one. Yeah. All right, you hit. Yeah. Oh. Wow. <laughs> he did. <laughs> I don't do much <laughs> damage. <laughs> How does it feel to use a hero die for six damage? All right, are you do your second attack? Yeah, let's see it if that. Why am I rolling as Barry? Because <laughs> you like some Barry. Yeah, I'm gonna do my second attack. Hey, you're much better. Oh, and it's a crit. So, uh. Yeah. <laughs> So it automatically goes off. off. Plus two. Okay. Roll a d4. Hopefully you get something he's not immune to. All right, cool. Something he's immune to. <laughs> Dang, all this stuff's immune to the stuff on my, on my thing. This is, this is whack. This that's is whack. That's the only one he's immune to. <laughs> this is whack. This is whack. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's funny. This is whack. 
What is Barry doing? I still I still have movement left, right? Mm, technically. How? Well, yeah, because I have sixty movement now. How much did it take me to get to him? A bit, most of it. Oh, uh, is this one close? No. Uh, no. So, just... so don't worry about where that one is or where Joy is. They're both in this dude in in um, Lamarty's mouth. Because I just wanted to run up to another one and cause. Cause more fire. Yeah, no, he's not there. He, he and Joy. Here, let me move Joy up here too. They're in his mouth. What? What about this guy? Is he close enough to get some one d six fire? Sure, we'll say sure. Yeah. I don't know which one you selected, but sure. This one. This one. Sure. Move yourself. I'll move you. There you go. So. But the, oh. Okay. And Barry, he's gonna smack this thing. Did you roll your damage for the fire damage? Oh no! I want to move to do fire damage to this dude. Doesn't roll damage. All right, three. All right, Barry. He's gonna attack the blue dude. Okie dokie. He hits. He kills it. It's going to move. As close as he can to me. He can get to you. Okay. Yeah. Oh, on that side. Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. <laughs> this is for a reason. What the heck happened to your stream, Blue? <laughs> Blue ruined the 22 time combo. What? Wait, what happened to our stream? <laughs> String Labs, bugging out. C -c 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 Combo breaker. Uh, okay, no, that's different. What? Okay. Anyways, uh, anything else from you? Which one did you attack? Oh, I'm done. Which one did Barry attack? The blue dude. Oh, right, right, right. That's right. Yeah. Ayame. As you find yourself now with no enemies immediately around you because Jared came in and scooped it away from you. <laughs> uh -huh. Sorry, this large beast, this gigantuan beast. What about it? It's just a alligator whale. Gargantuan alligator whale. Well, whale. crocodile whale. Which one is sneak, uh, flankable? This guy right here and this guy right here. Okay. All right. So, same thing. I'm gonna observe it. <laughs> For one. All round. right. Next up is who's that again? Oh, that's Joy. She's going to obviously, naturally, attempt to get the hell out of here. <laughs> and she's actually very good at grappling, so... Alright, give me an opposed athletics... Or, oh, actually, wait, no, hand, hand, hand. Um, roll 1d20 plus 8. All right, cool. She gets out of your grapple and swims the hell away. <laughs> Go, Ayame! Who? <laughs> I'm talking about chat. Oh. Uh -huh. All 
Um, oh yeah, she's gonna attack. She hits. All right. Bam. Dale, it is your go. All right, so if I understand correctly, uh, Lamorty's turned into this giant whale-type dinosaur. He actually chew. Yeah, he, he he's chewing on this guy right here, and he ha he did bite Joy. Okay, so we, we know that he harming the party. Yes. He, oh. he, he does not seem to be in the same state of mind. He seems like a dumb animal right now, and he's okay. just going ballistic. Okay, I've got a plan. I'm not sure if it's going to work. Because he still has to make concentration checks. So. No. Yes, he does. His concentration. Follow him. Oh, right. Right, plot <laughs> ultras. Yeah, sorry. I think he has to concentrate. Yeah, sorry. What cheer mode should I send next? It's better to whack him. Get out of that because he could eat. Uh, okay, um. I think what I'm And he's gargantuan, so you could easily reach him. Okay. Here's my bonus hat. So I, I... Yeah. Bonus action. You cast... Wrathful Smut. On him? Uh, well, I cast it on my weapon. Well, you're gonna, are you going to attack Lamartes? Oh, that's what I'm considering, right? Just so that I'm kind of, if I can frighten, he can't come closer to me. If the rest of the party's behind, the Marty's can have a go at the, but he won't come closer to me or the rest of the party. That's kind of what I wanted. That's the hope. But yeah, a couple of things need to succeed here. I'll give it a shot. I still want, uh, I, I kind of want the Marty's to focus on not a, this is the, you're like cut okay. out a little bit for me. Okay, yeah, he was so cutting out as well. Sorry, um, I, I'm gonna try to. Did you understand my strategy? Not really. Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna with um, Raffle Smite, provided it hits, it fails a saving throw, what are, whatever. I, what I'm hoping, move the rest of the party behind. Yeah, you're, so you can't... You're, gonna, you're gonna have to type it. You're you're cutting out too much. Right. Wrathful smite. I I know you said doing wrathful smite, but I don't. Yeah, you can't don't... hear me. You can't hear I, me. I can hear you, but you're cutting out. Like you're you're cutting. You're speaking, and then you stop, and then you're saying something else, and then you stop. Okay, so, I'll just I'll just do it. Okay, so yeah, here it goes. Type with too long to read portion. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. So I'm just going to attack Lamarty once. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Watch this knock if, me out of uh out of power. Probably will. It if probably Olesso will. is here, dude. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Why attack the poor creature? Don't attack my friend. She probably wouldn't even realize that it was Lamarty's either. Right. Ooh, new friend. Yeah. Why attack your friend? Mm -hmm. Um, that hits. Oh, okay. It has an AC of 19. All right, and what's your wrathful smite? So, wrath. Sent. Or you don't want to do an action, a uh, smite on top of it to uh, yeah, that's make coming. the con to, to make the uh, the concentration check a lot harder. Yeah, it's coming. First, okay. I want to do right around. I mean, I I just wanted to do this because it would be funny. Yeah, it's a good thing you have over three hundred health right now. Right. <laughs> well, if everything works out, you're you're still going to be able to do it. So, um. Okay, so yeah, succeed on his save DC. It's a wisdom. 
Yeah, well, don't forget you deal an extra 1d6 psychic damage. Oh, I'm sorry. My... Well, it's a flat d20 roll. Uh, I failed. That's three psychic. Okay, so now okay. he's frightened. He's frightened from me, so that means he cannot... He cannot come. do concentration checks. No, he can do concentration checks, but he oh. can't come closer. He can't come closer to me, come towards me. Oh, right, right, right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Oh, I'm going to add some smite to this. Interesting. You would think that the gargantuan Biosaurus it would be immune to fucking fear. But all right. Nope, I'm just... I'm just a big dumb. I'm just a big dumb dinosaur. So forty-eight radiant damage. Oh. Actually, sorry, that was five D. I forgot one D because I used a fourth level spell slot. Roll another. So that's what. That's twenty-one plus. Right now is one. So this is roll a. Alright, so 26 plus whatever you take damage a I total did. 40 damage. So he has oh, to do a concentration okay. save. Yeah, so so half, roll, roll uh, 1d20 plus 4. It's got to be 20. Half damage of that is 20. Nope, that knocked me out. Okay, that so knocked. You just lose. You just lost the fly Yep. All right. Okay. So go ahead and put yourself back on the board. That was still worthwhile doing. Yeah. yeah. I'm just <laughs> when I All right, so or I lie. As you as you slash at him, and you you see his eyes like sparkle in a daze. You see him revert back to his original form. But the, he, he, and he has uh, the creature's wing still in his mouth. Okay. I just tell Lamarty a little warning next time. Got it. Oh, and it's his turn. <laughs> uh, so he's, he's kind of angry that you, you know, chomped on him, so he's going to kick you. Oh, I need to get re-added to the uh Yeah, the you're, you're, you're right after the blue dudes. Okay. Oh, he's adjacent to me, this guy. Who? What? Is the no. target is the monster attacking Lamartis adjacent? Um. He wasn't his man. I mean, he's a, he was gargantuan. So unless you attacked him in his face, no. I don't know. I know that's up to you to know. Where, it's up to you to narrate. I'm... Did you go to his face attack him, or did you just go as close to, to until you were next to him? You whack the flipper. I don't know. I know it's hard to tell. I would have moved. To be honest, I would have just used the le the, the least amount of movement to get. So. That probably not. not. Okay, that's fine. Smack. So he smacked one of my flippers. Um. Like here we go. To Can you just say sure? <laughs> so let me put it to you in perspective here. Uh, so go back to uh, D.D. Dalvera. He's the size of that worm thing. You're the size of the medium. Yeah, that's that's fine. So my turn is done. I... <laughs> All right. Uh, so yeah, so the thing's going to kick at you, Lamartis. Okay. AC 15. Well, well, wow. okay. Then. Well, <laughs> um, I guess he's kicking you in a very vulnerable spot right now. He's kicking me in my chair. Use shield. Why? Oh, cow. Uh, yeah. oh, That's crit. why. It doesn't Thank matter. You. Shield doesn't won't stop it. It's a crit. Yeah, but then you don't, know, you don't know if shield's going to work or not before knowing the result of the attack. 
right. to be Next fair. Guy. He's gonna. He's also gonna kick at Joy, and he will sadly miss. Uh, the one that's really hurt is going to attack at Hill Critter, and he definitely hits. Hill Critter, you take 20 damage. The one that you're also near, that's uh, between you and uh, Ayame, is also going to attack you because he cannot see Ayame. <laughs> uh, defensive, oh. Uh, Barry was yeah. gonna. I wanted to use the pins of pounds. I went by. Oh. Well. Um, all right, it would have missed then. So take back that damage. Okay. So this guy is gonna attack you though. Yep, because he's nowhere near Barry. All right, and that one will hit still too. Shield. What is your AC? 14, 15, 16, 17. Oh, so it will miss now. All right, the one on the bottom left will attack Barry. And you're still as Barry, got it. Oh, dang it. Oh, yeah, wait, that one, thing, one thing, no, 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 that was, that was damage, sorry. Right. That misses Barry. Barry's a 15, right? Yes. Yeah. And the last one will fly in towards Dale Hart. Uh, do you get your attack of opportunity? Dale? All right, cool, go ahead. <clears throat> Look at them thighs. They kick pretty hard. As the monkeys found out. <laughs> chicken, chicken thigh, delicious. Why don't no, no. my kicks do that much damage? Uh, no, so what is it is, you got chicken legs and turkey thighs. <laughs> yes, that definitely hits. Yeah, that definitely hits. <laughs> That hits the BBEG, dude. <laughs> Wait, do they have hooves? Yes. <laughs> then why don't my hooves do that much damage? Because your thighs aren't pure. Well, actually, they are technically. They are. Mine well, only did two d six. Your your legs are built for running. Theirs are for kicking. Uh, right. Yeah. Well, it's coming to you anyways. Um. So it's oh right. So it's technically away from you still. Ooh. Yeah, he's 10 feet away from him. So this thing is gonna do something a little different. Um, you see the, what looks like a T on his chest and his tail, all that red, starts to glow a little slightly as the tail kind of spears at you. And oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> oh my oh. Oh, it, it ain't nothing. It would have been. <laughs> considering they can only do this once every other round. Oh, that's good to know. Alright, well, um oh wait, they're gone. Alright, Le Martise, your turn. Um I'm gonna take a swing on the uh on the thing in front of me. All right, the flying dangling with who's in the tail, made of yeah. blood. Oh yes, the red stuff and the blue stuff and all that is blood. Yeah. That definitely, definitely, most assuredly hits. I will also expend a fourth level spell slot to smite it. All right, we shall see if you smite it. And because it's a fiend, it also does an additional D8. Wop, wop, wop. Rip. Wow, that was just, that's a really bad upcast smite roll. I think I was just too oh tired to with the D8. Off. Is the D8 from the smite or the sword? It's from the smite because right, it's well, a fiend. The, well, so here's the thing. Because it's a daemon, it also deals double damage still. Okay. I just haven't been telling you guys. 
So that's uh -huh. eight plus seven is fifteen. So that's thirty smite damage and twenty-two okay. slashing. Okay. Plus. So you are a, you just did more than half its health in one hit. Um, is there anything else I can do? What do I have that'll take a bonus? <laughs> yes, Smite's been doing double damage, or Radiant has been doing double damage. Yes. <laughs> Surprise! No wonder you guys have been killing them pretty quickly, right? <laughs> no, that's an action. That's an Yeah, it's like the opposite of resistance. They have weakness to Radiant. I just didn't want to outwardly say it because, you know, immersion and metagaming. Everything I have is an action. Boo. Okay. <laughs> um, that's my turn. Yeah, you would have figured it out a while ago, technically, but yeah. I mean, you should have found out when freaking Bob was attacking. Bob's the ship, right? No, no, well, God, you guys named him Bob too, but the celestial guy that, um, uh -huh, right. what's your name, some words, but yes, the celestial archer dude. <laughs> they're all Bobs. They're, they're all, there's so many Bobs, you guys suck at naming things, I, I thought think, I was bad at naming. I think the, I named the house Bob, Yeah, and then the house you guys is also named Bob. this guy Bob, my shirt or whatever. <laughs> Who's the? What was the guy's name that uh, was from my hometown? His name is Bob. Or Clyde? No, it was Clyde. It's Clyde. No, no, it was the. It was, it was Clyde. Was it the, Clyde? The barkeeper dude. It's no, Clyde. the guy that owns the house, my friend. Oh, oh, the 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 merchant dude. Yeah, Bob. Um, yeah, she's also Bob. Damn it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so many Bobs. Bob, 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 Bob. Bob. They sh we should have a Bob convention. <laughs> Hi, I'm Bob. Hey, Bob. And uh, I'm, I'm a Bob. <laughs> this is an intervention. All right. Callahan's turn. Yay, the most useless person in this party. <laughs> he's going to come up. Actually, no, he's, no, no, he's just standing there. He's going to rub his little lamp again. Um... Joy, Captain, and we'll go with, we'll go with, with the guy who just got kicked in the nuts. You receive Bless. You hear me, Lamartis? Yes. All right. All right, Captain, to attack that one dude there. She's gonna hit, and I'm gonna do her damage first. Yes, perfect. And she's gonna attack the other one. And also hit. Cool, fantastic. All right. And I'm skipping over the NPCs, like the, the Maddox and the Atrix stuff, because they're they're NPCs. If you want me to, you know, describe how what happens, let me know, and I will do so. But otherwise, Hill Critter, it is now your turn. Every last one, damn it. <laughs> All right, so the Captain Amber Lane has this fury all over her face as she's splattered with blood from all the enemies she's already killed this whole time. And nope, too late, you already said it. And she goes to a flurry, or, yeah, a flurry of a dance as she cuts the other one to ribbons and spins over to the other one and starts shredding him up. Hill Critter, you and Barry, go. Okay. This is taking a bit longer than I expected it to, not gonna lie. What? That's because there's a lot of turns. <laughs> I, I expected you guys to do more damage. <laughs> I'm well... used to you guys doing ungodly damage, but the ninja decides to observe <laughs> her enemies for some reason. I'm assassinating things, okay? <laughs> One hit wonder. How's it? You know, and I, I was going to swallow things. Is my, flame, is my flame stride still up? Has it been a minute yet? 
A minute would be 10 rounds. Has it been 10 rounds? Well, I don't know. I haven't been paying attention. The answer is no. No, no it has not. Okay, cool. <laughs> Don't how close to him. this? How close to this guy am I? You're right next to him. Okay. Well, I'm gonna poke him with my stick. Well, no, I'm not gonna poke him with my stick. Uh oh. I'm calling the cops. Why? You're poking him with your stick. But I'm not. <laughs> it's your stick. I left it in my other stick. That means it comes off. Does a 27 hit? Maybe. You really haven't been paying attention, have you? Their AC is 17. I was eating, I'm sorry. Blue guy's AC, 14. Red guy wingless, 16. These guys, 17. Okay. Well, he takes 17. He takes 17. But I did Because he told me to. Uh... Interesting. Cool. All right. And I'm about done. How far away is this guy? I don't see anything. Bala oh. Mortis. Uh, far enough for you to run. Wait. What do you mean run? Like. A... Are you trying to run to him, or what are you trying to? I'm do? gonna. I'm gonna charge. Yes, you can definitely. You have sixty movement. Oh yeah. Charge! All right, hold up. This guy gets to kick you. Nope. You're right. No, he does not. You're right. Flame stride. Hate you. <laughs> so, uh, charge at this guy. And I skewer him with my manticore tail. Um... I have to charge in a straight one. Yeah, so... Unless Lamartes is on the other side. No. Yeah, well, no hero die. The opposite. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All you need is a two. All right, cool. You kill him. He had seven hit points left. I'm pretty sure with the charge, you're going to do more than seven. Yeah, because it was going to be uh, plus two to eight and plus the, yeah. plus your weapon. the other... Plus the D6 fire. And the fire. Yeah. So I, yeah. I just expedite that a little bit for you because I, I, it, there's no way you're not gonna do, it, unless you roll all ones. No. Somehow. Yeah. Well, Barry's turn. Yes. Barry, he's going to attack this one that he's right next to. Okie dokie. Barry Maul. Rip. That means you don't have hero dice. No. I mean, you can use your hero die for Barry if you want. Well, I have to, because it's a 17, I'll have to use more than one. Yeah. <laughs> you have to use at least two of them. Yeah. Oh, hold up. Someone just messaged me directly. Oh. 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 Okay, okay, okay. All right, sorry about that. All right. <clears throat> um, so yeah, Barry is doing Barry things. Ayame, you have observed this creature for a full round. Finally! Hey. Huzzah. That is definitely hits. Assassinated? Uh, let me see what it does again. Hold on. 
<laughs> this better be good. Um, are they able to defend themselves? I'm gonna roll for around. the damage anyway. On the following round, a sneak attack. If it is denied, the dexterity bonus to AC. So no. The sneak attack. Is that the so sneak? no, it is not denied. Is it? Um. It so doesn't no. know I'm there, so it is denied. No, it's but it still has. No, because he's still cautious and wary. So the only way that this would go is if it was the first attack of the entire combat encounter. Hmm. Or if this thing was restrained. So if Barry could grapple it. But, yes, but, 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 but. Telling you. My sneaks. Take away yeah, the you deck. You still do sneak damage. You still do sneak damage, yeah. Would be denied dex bonus to AC. No, 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 no. Because remember, in 5th edition, if you have advantage, you still do sneak attack. That's why you've been doing sneak attack still. So my sneak doesn't take away the dex bonus? No. <laughs> Not having the dex bonus means they can't move. <laughs> They're surrounded or flanked, though. Yeah, it doesn't mean it can't move around. You're in a three-dimensional movement area now. So it can go up, it can go down, <laughs> left, right, forward, back. Oh, fine. Well, it's silenced, it's bleeding, and it's got that damage. So, Galhart, in regards to that, her character is from Pathfinder, so there are some things that I kind of have to work around for with. Because of the nature of what Assassinate does, no, because that would be way too overpowered. <laughs> so I do require it to be restrained in some way, shape, or form, or unaware of any combat going on. It's unaware of my presence. No. <laughs> You're sure about that? Yeah. How, how many da Damon have you fought that I have not been able to see? Very few. <laughs> no. <laughs> Most of them have been aware of your presence. <laughs> they just didn't attack me. Is that what it is? <laughs> yep, I've been rolling GM rolls. <laughs> Hold up. You said that this one didn't see me, so it, would, it went for... Or wait, was it this one? This one didn't see me, uh, so it went for Luke. Ha! I went for Luke because he has lower AC. Because he's not with yeah. armor. <laughs> yeah. He has a 14 AC. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I have Barry's defensive pounce and like three more shields. You're so lucky. You're <laughs> so lucky. God, so that was 36 plus bleeding plus silence. Oh, jeez, yeah. Uh, 30, wait, that was 36? Oh, then he's dead. <laughs> there you so go. So it had 36 health taken. <laughs> it only has 75. So you, you with the bleeding and the other, it's, it's dead. Yay! <laughs> hey! <laughs> it was worth it! Sort of. Not really. Sort Dang of. it. <laughs> uh. That was two attacks total this combat that you could have just done. <laughs> right? Dude. But now you are aware. Um, so, moving forward, um, I will have you give me a perception or insight depending on the circumstances if they if you can tell if they notice your presence who is this again joy joy, joy so you joy, wanted me to joy, roll the perception joy, joy. no no no, no. from now on i will oh um and joy misses Joy, Joy is not feeling very joyous. And Joy's actually, oh my gosh. She has bless. <laughs> it won't help that. Oh, yes. Um, it won't help that. It still won't. Even if they show us a four, it won't help. Damn. Uh, but yeah, she's actually half dead, I just realized. Oh, no. Nailheart. You know who's not half dead? The Rock Sasha. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Don't, don't, don't kill him, please. <laughs> Gellar, it's your turn. Uh, okay, yeah. So I got a guy 10 feet away from me, right? Uh, I don't have any he, more he's, third he's stuck at 10 feet away from me right now until it's his turn. Yeah. All right, how far away is Joy from me? Uh, within swimming distance. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna move. Uh, like, I'm not gonna provoke any from this guy. I'm gonna move adjacent to Joy's uh, target. Yep. Since she's hurt, I'm just gonna give her a helping hand. Mm -hmm. And I'm going yep. to. I'm gonna do regular attacks for attack round. So. First attack. Do I have advantage? Um, no, not unless you go to the other side of the creature. But if you're okay. going adjacent to her, then no. No, I want to be adjacent to the creature that she's fighting. Oh, okay. yeah, if you want to flank him, then yes. Okay, if I can, I will, obviously. Yeah. Okay, so first attack. Yeah, I'm out of source feed. Oh, no, wrong move. I did not want to do that. I'm sorry. It's regular attack, so maybe keep the roll, but discard the... Ooh, critical. Okay. Do you Higher really low. not want it? <laughs> Higher low. I want the crit. I want the crit. I said keep the attack roll, but... Um, Higher low. High. All right, you get to keep the attack roll. Okay, thank you. I, I want to do a regular attack, not a boom, not a green flame blade, so... Yep, yep, so click your regular attack, but just hit the... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ignore that. Um, mm -hmm. Damn it. So you um, actually I, do 14 plus 10, so you do 24 damage. Yeah, I wanted to, I wanted to smite. Yeah, so. I'm saying your base damage right now is 24, so... 24? Okay, that's great. Because oh, it was I did a crit. crit, sorry. I did a crit, so one sec, I got Thunder Effect. Oh, yeah, you yeah, the Thunder Effect, yep. So pushed so five feet, knocked prone, strength save. Yeah, yeah he does, it has to do a strength save. Oh boy, strength save, 1 to 20 plus... Do I want to push it? Do wow! Oh, well, okay. he, made, he made the save, so he's not knocked prone, Perfect. but he is knocked 5 feet, though. He's still yeah. within your reach, though. Yeah, he's still within your reach. Yeah, that's true. Uh, I just want to make sure I don't... I don't... Yeah, I just want to make sure I don't lose the flank. Oh no, you're fine. Okay. Uh... Okay, so next attack. Actually, yes, uh, technically, he wouldn't be able to get pushed because you're flanking. You're, I, I'm moving here because I can't move you off the map, but you're on the opposite side of her. So you, you push him into her, kind of, so he doesn't really move. But you can push somebody in diagonal as long as it's move. Uh, it pushes uh -oh. some, as long as he moves away from you. Oh, yeah, you're still flanking. Away. You're still flanking. Okay. You could have got pushed up or down as well. And pushed. True. You just um, do an uppercut and knock him up a little. Not like that. Oh, you mean upper down? Okay, I, I know what you mean by upper down. Okay, sorry. Uh, yeah, so I use a. Here's my smite, so that's 5D. Oh, wait, bam. Real quick, let me do this. Bam. Half dead. Cool. And that's. So, so apparently, when damage. we hit level 14, I can become an Indominus Rex. So, 40, 40 damage? 40 radiant damage? Dead. Did you get that? He's yeah, dead? He okay. Did. Can I change the elements on my halberd to the radiant? radiant? Yep. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Uh, if I have extra movement, I could move and do a bonus, but I don't have anybody in my reach, right? Um, where were you at before? Down here? Uh, no. Okay. So what I'll can I if I still have movement left, can I just adjacent to uh, Joy? Oh, to Joy, yeah. Okay, it's going to be next to her. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's it. You better, you better watch out, Hell Crater. He's moving up on your your beloved. Hey, hey, you stay away from my beloved. Mm -hmm. It's okay, it's okay. All right, Barry oh. is getting attacked. Okay. Does that hit? Yes. All right. Give me that sweet, sweet damage. Seventeen damage to Barry. Okay. All right, and this one is going to go for. Let's see, one D slash R one D one two, three four. Hey, well, Dale's gonna be happy. So he's flying toward. You can tell that it's flying towards the rock, Sasha. Do you want to get your attack of opportunity?
Delhart. Sorry, what? The this creature right here is flying towards the Raksasha. Do you want to do an attack of opportunity on him? Uh sure, I guess. Oh, what a nice guy. You're helping out so, the Raksasha. But but is how am I getting an opportunity? Am I adjacent to the Raksasha? He's Hold flying on. towards well he enters your threat range. Yeah, he's entering your threat. He's going to be within 10 feet of you towards the Raksasha. Oh, okay. Fine. Fair enough. I didn't know I was that close to the Raksasha. Okay. Yeah. Um, core. Sick. Oh, are you attacking me? Uh, actually, yeah. So no, be this like is a regular range. range. This is a regular attack, though, right? Yep. Yep. Opportunity yeah, attack. Go. And it's... So his speed is zero. I'm not sure if that reaches... That keeps him from reaching the Raksha Star. No, it, it got right into his range when you got into your range of your 10 feet. Cool. I don't really care. <laughs> That's All right, attacking... I'll, I'll, put, I'll, I'll put a smite on that. Oh wait, no, no, sorry. Okay. You're you're radiant, so plus eleven again. Well, but my radiant only works on crits, though. Like the element is only if it has an effect only on crits. No, the effect, your damage type is radiant. Mm -hmm. Just like before, your damage type was lightning. Oh, and okay. it's, it's half lightning, half slashing. So it's half. So actually, it's only so minus five. Okay, well I'll let you I'll let you figure it out. Yeah, I got it. And so, I'll do a smite after. Okay. Uh, I guess a spell. First level spell slash good. Roll. Yeah, so it won't get blind unless you crit, but. Yay. So, 32. Radiant. Yeah, so as you can see there, it even says in your weapon description, the weapon is considered imbued with that element for the purpose of bypassing resistance or exploiting vulnerabilities. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. Um, so 16 plus 16. Oh. What do heck? Well, instead of 16, it's 32. Yeah. There's a demon and all that. Wait, who, who's doing that? Stop that. So I'm dragging the dice onto the board. But it's so cool. No. Anyways, dragging the Rex Sasha. And that misses, damn it. And it's his turn. He's gonna revenge slash at him. And miss. Oh no, he has no! He blessed the other two, not himself. He blessed yeah. Lamarty's. Lamarty's the captain in joy. Oh, the captain's gonna come down and oh gosh. And help Barry. What about me? You just skipped me. Right, go. I shall Who fly <laughs> down to here and try to stabity stab that one. Okay. Oh my god, I'm an idiot. What? These things have uh, an ability that I haven't been using this entire my... time. Yes! Don't use it anymore. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm gonna use it now because it happened. So when it gets flanked, he's gonna get a free attack. Okay. Is that it? Probably not. Who, who's it against? You, because you were flanking him. Uh, I'll cast shield. Alright, then it misses. Alright, go ahead. Do your oh, crit. Jesus Christ. What? Uh. I'm it. Yeah, seriously. I'll just use this. I'm banking on number of dice. If I use a third level spell slot for it, 
That would be six, seven, no, two, three, four, five dice because it's a fiend. 10d8 radiant damage going into it. What the frick? What? Well, did you do your sword damage first? No, not yet. All right, cool. Um, so that alone will kill it. Okay. He was on oh. two health damage taken. Oh, uh, I have Mr. Stabs now. Yes, you do. So bring out your sword. Bloop. <laughs> it looks like a toothpick. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Mr. Stabs will come over to here. Yep. And try to stab. Yep. Uh, right there? Or, like, right there? Right down there. <laughs> to the flank? <laughs> to flank it, yes. Alright, go ahead. Uh... I need to nerf that sword. <laughs> the the crit never happened. Uh, rarely, if ever, happens. I still need to nerf the sword. <laughs> no, you don't understand. The plus two and the plus three for that sword. <laughs> Fourteen. <laughs> Does a 14 are you, hit? Are you going to give it some hero die, or...? No. Then they misses. Okay. Alright, Captain Amberlane, come down and click I wonder, just out of sheer curiosity, what that would have been. Just and, for me. Oh, advantage. Alright, cool. That hits. That would have been nice. Oh my gosh. Oh 46. Alright, that hits as well. That's. Half dead. Ah. So yeah, you, you if you did use your smite on that thing, that would have been super overkill. <laughs> okay. Cause that's forty six radiant. Yes. That would have insta killed him. <laughs> at fresh. Okay. Barry is going to force the power of Rend. They have 75 health. <laughs> Alright, you hit. Nine force. I know. You guys are. Can I have smite? Abysmal <laughs> with the smites. No. Thank God we're just looking at smite. God. Then Barry's going to move over. And I mean, Critter is going to charge. I'm glad, I'm glad I made it a wizard stone, not a paladin stone. <laughs> you, Chris, do you hear me? Yep. No Critter is charging. And he's yeah. going to do a little stabby stab. Where can I buy one? No, or... there isn't. There <laughs> isn't. No, I will not make one. I refuse. Do it. <laughs> Why is Barry going again? But yes, that hits. That hits? Holy Avenger. Holy Diver. <laughs> cool. So, he takes 10 piercing, 15 from the charge, and... All right, he's dead. By fire. He's dead. Okay. All right. All right. And as the last one falls and dissipates and evaporates. I run over. My beloved! And she instinctively throws her fist out towards your face as you come running up to her. Oh, so, I love sorry. cat. Sorry. Didn't notice it was you. Sorry. I just had this weird, creepy chill run down my spine. I thought I heard something disturbing. You did. You did. Oh. Oh. Oh, joy. <laughs> <laughs> the only reason I like you so much is because you almost beat the shit out of me. Huh. 
I see. Anyways, what took that you guys so long? Hey, I will show up here immediately, okay? But no, up here you need immediately. To... We've been fighting you... for the past twenty minutes. Do you need some heals? I need a lots of heals. The here. As she rips her her uh, her her um, what is it called? What is it? What, the outer garment that the freaking like pirates and captains and stuff wear. Her jacket? Yeah, jacket, basically, but I'm pretty sure there's an actual name for it. It is. But, but whatever, no. she, she, she rips off her coat and whatever. Yeah, her coat. She, there's no, there's an actual... Oh, wait, no. Wait, before that, I tell her to put on my pendant. Uh, pass. But it'll, Sorry. it'll, it'll I, double... I, <laughs> pass. So, so thematically, you can't say things like it'll double your healing or whatever. Oh, uh, it'll it'll help heal you. Thanks. I, I'll be fine. I was gonna take it back. She she waves uh, her hand. Well, here, that. take take this. I uh, just touch her. She heals for fourteen. All right. But yes, there, as you, as you, so for the people that are hurt, she's still hurt the most. She's not half dead anymore, though. Um, Barry is going to repair himself. Uh, Captain's barely hurt. Kalahad's kind of barely hurt. Oh. Joy still has more damage taken than both of them combined. I'm going to do my he, way on hand on me. He repaired for the exact. Damn it. Yeah, you guys will be able to do a, a long rest. Okay. You know what's funny? Hill Critter didn't take a single bit of damage. Because of bullcrap shield and Barry's disadvantage. <laughs> uh, I was hoping to finally hurt you some. <laughs> but I had to be fair and have the enemies attack, you know, roll for choices this time i wanted to be a playa store uh, uh, all right uh, she the, has dinosaur for more than one turn she's practically almost completely healed yes, I, I go to lamartis it was like lamartis put this on then heal yourself my handy uh, like to hold my pendant out towards him <laughs> Brings me joy, 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 joy down. Next time I do it, if we're still in a water area, I'll turn into a megalodon. Uh, Lamarckis, did you hear me? Yeah, I heard you. Ugh. All right. So, as as the battle is now over, and you guys take a manage to take a gander and look around, you see a lot of blood dissipating all over the ship. Like they weren't kidding when they said they were fighting for about twenty minutes or so. Oh. That's why Joy was already almost halfway dead. <laughs> so, yeah. Marquis, are you going to um, heal yourself? Nah, we're going to get a long rest anyways. So yeah, right, well, I'll take my, I'll take Amulet, put it back on. I'll walk up to the Rakshasha and I was like, hey, can I get a uh, toke from that pipe? Uh, sorry, I'm a little all out at the moment. <laughs> uh, the captain comes up to you all and says, yeah, I don't know what happened, but shortly after you guys went to bed, or, you know, sometime before you guys came up here, I should say, um, these daemon came out of nowhere and swarmed the ship. Oh, okay. It's like they were, like they were um, sent here by someone. Hey, Chris, do you want me to ask you tomorrow for my uh, Manticore's plus two stuff? Yes. Okay. Uh, heads up, it's going to go from a D8 to two D8. Okay. So at the very minimum, you have that so, for you. Uh, can I change that now since that's what I'm picking? Sure. Yay.
Oh wait, no, 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 no. You had the manticore's tail, right? The one that curves and hits multiple enemies next to it. Yeah. No, no, no. Sorry, you're going from one d eight to two d six. No. There's a reason. There's a reason. And then when it gets to plus three, it'll be three d four again for another reason. Don't worry, it'll be only good things. I promise you. I don't believe you. You don't believe me? Okay, fine. Wow, I thought I was making like a, pretty good custom weapons and stuff. Oh no, I like the other stuff from it. Like uh -huh. it's awesome. Uh huh. Sure. You don't even know what else it gets at plus two, but sure. Okay. Uh huh. I I, I understand. It's okay. It's okay. Do you have it written down somewhere, or do you still have to do that? Not on here. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, I guess you didn't want to do the plus two for your shield, which has a 75% chance to get plus two AC, extra AC, or when hit, 75% chance to gain plus two AC for a turn and reflect 25% of the damage back to the attacker if attacked in melee. <laughs> that is a lot of words, but... Uh, I'm already hard to hit as it is, but I would like to, like, more melee stuff no 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 no. when attacked in melee even I if know. they miss you it says when hit no 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 you get plus two ac there's a seven percent uh, chance to get the ac for one turn and reflect 25 percent damage if attacked in melee i worded it specifically yeah no i'm thinking that all right, so put your damage back to 1d8. Yep, I am. That means even if they miss, I still roll damage and they take damage for being in proximity to that shield. You gonna, if uh... I get attacked though, right? What? If I get attacked. Yes, you specifically. Like it's, a, it's, a, it's like basically think of it like a uh, laser sensor on the shield, kind of, like a claymore. Yeah. Oh, that works great with taunt. Yes. That's, that's the point of me putting that for its thing. And, I'll, again, I'll remind you of your plus three for the shield, just because we're on this topic. Yeah, I, I have it written down in here. Okay. Alright, so, Dana, you're trying to say something? Um, Delhart. Yeah, I have it all right did here. Oh. something. He did what? Right there. Oh, yeah, sorry. I totally didn't even see that. Uh, I asked him <laughs> if she can help us find... Yes, that is the... Yes, that's what she is going to do. That's uh, they, are, they were already looking for that while you guys were, were sleeping. Um, they do have to make a quick uh, stop back at their base, though, um, to gather some supplies. So that is where you guys are actually heading. In fact, let me go ahead and bring you there now, as you guys are near there. Are we doing our long rest? Yes. Cool, I can regain my spell. Yay! Um... Pretty, pretty place. I like this place already. Oh. It's a turtle! <laughs> <laughs> this isn't a casino, Dale. <laughs> <laughs> They're pirates, though. Don't they gamble? <laughs> yeah, with pe other people's lives, sure. <laughs> do they have a card? Do they have a card table at least? No. Anyways, um, what you see there is not a statue. That's an actual giant um, gargantuan tortoise. Does it also have the crabs on its legs and the fish on its back? No, ignore all those. <laughs> okay. But the tortoise does have, um... Hey, Blue, what's that stuff that was on the back of that one, the Leviathan? Titan. Like Barnacles. Barnacles, that's the word. Oh. Barnacles. Oh, uh, yeah, right. Yeah, so <laughs> it looks very, very old is what I'm trying to say. Yes. Gotcha. So if something hits it with an yes, unarmed attack, it cuts its hand off. Got it. <laughs> Barnacles acts as spikes. Uh, you see spikes on the shell of the thing as well. Okay, Blue. Okay. 
<laughs> as you make your way uh, in from this ent- south entrance and you make your way to see the chair, you tra la 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 and you go and sit yourself in the chair. Captain Amberlin comes over and pats you on the head. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Aren't you glad that the square is actually right in the middle of the chair? Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is a good map layout. That's awesome. Yes, I, I loved it. As soon as I found it, I was like, oh, this is like perfect. <laughs> like, look, you're like in the com- in the size too. You're right in front of the, the things for the most part. To wash your hands and stuff, whatever. I mean, don't do that, please. <laughs> but yeah. No, <laughs> you wash your hands. Specifically in those areas, not the water that, you know, is surrounding us. <laughs> Wait, is Blue still is Blue still cloaked? At this point, probably not because we're we're not in combat. Okay. Because okay. right, so if you were, not, yes, the captain actually does come over and pats you on the head. <laughs> yes, do not she, sit on me. She, she, <laughs> I was about to say, if you were still cloaked, I was just gonna sit on you. No, do not head. sit on me. <laughs> I look up at the captain and like give her a smile, and then you know wave my legs. And she <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> it can't she reach the can't. floor. <laughs> you see, you see the captain actually like blushes and she like puts her hands over her face. As you now suddenly realize, oh my gosh. she has a thing for little kids. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh no! A, she is a mother figure. Oh okay. Good. She's probably like, older like, than her. That kind of thing for kids. She <laughs> I was gonna. <laughs> no. Okay. PG thirteen. PG thirteen. Okay. <laughs> we did not discuss about ra- making this rated seventeen. All right. <laughs> the cussing does that already. Oh uh, well, whatever. It's not rated eighteen. <laughs> there, you, there you go. There you go. <laughs> this is an MA for mature. This is not rated M. This is not rated M right now. You can you can DM me your request for that, and we will put that to a, a discussion. Uh, no. A, not over stream. No. Uh, <laughs> not no. over stream. All right, so there's one no. That means it's a no period. <laughs> That's two no's. I said no as well. All right, cool, yeah. Don't ever Demo- Democratic vote? Come on. No. 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 Mainly no. because... <laughs> mainly because... Uh, this has to be one, a unanimous... Unanimous vote. Yes, because blue streams and there's a bunch of Christians here too, so. So yeah. Anyways. Uh, so yeah, you guys make it to here, and you, she's uh, the captain tells you that you are free to explore anywhere you can manage to get into. Good luck huh. as she winks at all of you. I can um, get into a lot of places. Perception on everything. <laughs> As she as she looks at you, uh, towering over her, ha ha, sure. It was like, can I borrow those keys real quick? No. Come on now. Nope. I'll give them back before nope. I leave. Nope. Anyways, uh, give me perception, uh, blue. I right, am sorry. It's not like we're gonna steal anything. All right. Uh, with an eighteen, you can see that almost everything here is either made out of gold or something else that is completely entirely valuable. The throne is Um. Yes, the, the, the throne is actually made out of pure platinum. Um. I want to put it on Barry's back and we <laughs> You can't even pick it up. It weighs a freaking ton, dude. More than Why a ton. is this place made of invaluable stuff? But I want to cast in large reduce on me. I do not have that smell. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna call it here shortly, just so you're FYI. Oh, okay. doke. Um, so if you have anything else you would like to do in the meantime before we close out, please let me know now, so we can tailor the role play to that. Uh, we'll know. start with Luke. Is there anything you would like to do here while you're in a safe haven, so to speak? Um. Oh, actually, um, with your perception, Blue, um, give me an insight check. So, a thing for all of you to note, as soon as you came into this place, you're no longer in water like the ocean. You feel oh. like you're in like a normal place and the water on the floor is water on the ground. And with your 18 insight, 
This water seems very similar to the water at the Oracle's place. Oh, uh, just so you know, before I got off the ship, I put my armor back on. Yes, I figured all of you would have donned your armor at least, but on the way over here. I'm yeah. so tempted, though, to clutch my stone, but if... <sighs> oh, uh, so as your hand in instinctively moves towards ah. your stone... Okay. The captain notices it and goes, All oh, right, I've been meaning to give you something. And she pulls out a ring with an empty slot on it that seems obviously way too small for your stone, but she winks at you. I don't understand. Is the stone going to be on the ring? Is the ring going to be a bracelet to, for me? <laughs> are you going to take the stone and try to put it on the, on the ring? Um, I ask her what it's for first. She says it'll make your life a lot easier. But wouldn't it continuously blind me if I wear it? I would never give you something that would harm you. You've been too valuable for me thus far. <laughs> what do you mean, her? I don't want to <laughs> found the case. <laughs> okay, so I take it and then I try to fit it. Alright, so you touch the ring with the stone and the stone shrinks. Oh. To the size of a very small pearl and fits perfectly in the inlet of the ring. What? That's cool. And as you put the ring on your finger, I'm assuming? Sure. You feel a, or not feel, sorry, you see a warm, a very warm glow from almost everything in this room. But it is not bright, like blinding. But you can still see that there is, in fact, magic. It just seems hampered. Okay. Cool. So yes, almost everything in this entire building has magic around it. I would have been blinded then if I yes, touched you it. <laughs> you would have been blinded. The tech magic I'm is an so automatic glad. move. I'm sorry? The tech magic is an automatic move. An automatic what? Nose, Nose bleed. bleed. <laughs> in this building, yes. Only in this building and very, very, very few other places. I walk up to the captain and I was like, hey, what do you mean she's been invaluable? I'm the one that found your keys for you. Yes, but you are not a soulless one. A what? How do you know? A little birdie told me. A uh, little black birdie told me. <laughs> if you really don't know, Blue, give me a insight. <laughs> well, at least do you have anything for Barry here? Hmm. She thinks about it. Splash GM. Uh, shoot. Hang on. Shoot. How do I do this again? <laughs> I don't remember how to do the GM rolls. <laughs> I just forgot. Splash GM. Is it just GM? Uh. I think so. Let me go back up. Yeah, it might be actually. Nope. I mean, you could just click the, the the dice icon thing and hit GM, can't you? And then do the dice that way. Yep. Um, oh yeah, I, I can't click GM. Duh, I'm stupid. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. All right, now I gotta think of something. Ooh. Ooh. Uh. She, she uh, mentions to, to Callahad, to, she whispers in his ear, um, and he runs off, and after a few minutes he comes back and he hands you a collar with studs on it. Ooh. Yeah. For Barry, not you. Yeah, I know. You put it on him? Yes. All right, you put it on him. Nothing seems to happen. Go ahead, attack him. Holler. Did you want me to attack my own animal? Sure, you can heal him. Yeah, you're right. But, uh, if you want, I can turn Barry into something different. No, you, he's a construct. <laughs> How about that? <laughs> Hero. <laughs> uh, you said attacking? That. Okay, sure, uh, 
I'll poke him with my stick. All right, give me a attack roll. Give me damage. All right, cool. Um, you take twelve damage. Oh my god! What? <laughs> As you attack him, and suddenly wow. lightning sparks out from his body and zaps you. Oh my god! That is awesome. And she looks at the rest of the party and... Wow. Wow, really? Wow. All right, who else is here? Jared and Dale are, right? Yep. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. <laughs> she looks... <laughs> Oh dear. Also, hang on. <laughs> she looks at Adela Martins, and she, with, while shaking her head and waving her finger at you angrily, she herself goes <laughs> off and comes back later. And she gives you a ring as well. So that okay. next time you won't be so stupid. <laughs> It's literally just a ring of, of of intelligence. It keeps your intelligence from dropping below 10. Oh, nice. Yes, but that won't work <laughs> if I polymorph, though. Yes, it will. Custom magic items, I can do whatever I want on the GM. Oh, oh yes. Okay. That's all. So what does his collar do? Like, what's the damage? It's retaliation. It's... It's 2d6 retaliation okay. lightning damage, but I just maximized it for you just because. Yeah. Just because. Dale Hart, oh boy, what can you even use that would even help you? Like, you're just so strong. Uh, it's... Or I just do something flavorful. Let's see. Oh, Dale Hart, Dale Hart, Dale Hart. If you're, if you're speaking, Dale Hart, I can barely hear you, so you might have to type My it. Eight. My AC yeah. is low. Did you say your AC is low? It is, 19. It's pretty low. That... <laughs> it's not a 22. Wow, I didn't know a 19 was considered low, guys. Jeez. Have I been doing things wrong? No. Dude, what's, what's your AC? <laughs> Let me see. What's Core's AC? 15. Oh, that's with my double water. Oh, Alessa is, is also 15. <laughs> Core's, Core's okay. is 15 with magical armor. <laughs> no, but seriously, um, whatever, whatever you want to do. Uh, you're all about auras, aren't you? Like, is, like how many, you, you, you can have like what, three auras technically at max right now? Two, three? Oh, just the one? Oh. Um, what does your aura do again? Gives plus four to saves? Well, my charisma bonus. What? A charisma modifier to save. Yeah, okay, okay. Okay, Chris, I call it the ring of it not dropping below 10 when polymorphed. Sure. Well, there's also enemies that can lower your intelligence, but even if they tried, you won't drop below 10. <laughs> so ghosts do very little to you other than your constitution or strength or something. Uh, it's, uh, it's generally strength. Yeah. I tried changing it to con and- Oh no, I'm thinking of intellect devourers. Oh. Yeah, intellect devourers are something to, are just you. But those yes. are funny though. <laughs> I've one shotted a character with an intellect devourer before. Yeah, they're they're like super last cannons. They either destroy you or they just fall apart. And they're so weak. Yeah. It's such a low <laughs> CR too. Yeah, so literally new players can fight them <laughs> and die. Alright guys, so we're gonna what? end the stream now. Um, I can throw an army of them at you guys right now. <laughs> Thank you again so oh, much. I hope 
I hope everybody enjoyed the stream. Uh, let's see. Let's and uh, let's uh, let's go raid. So these are my raid messages. Or, oh my gosh, it, it's not so showing up. So make your own raid message, <laughs> I guess. Um, I'll see you next time, hopefully on Monday, because I think I'm going to do finally do the cover. Sun cover Monday. They can't okay. hear me, so that's why I'm talking about uh, them. But anyway, thanks again for hanging out, guys. Um, I'll see you next time. Um, hopefully Monday. All right, let's go okay. raid. Um, there we go. Let's go cheer Nozo for a Cuphead because no, no, he's playing no, Cuphead no, right no. now. We'll strength modifier. Okay. Oh, I didn't know it was. Let's go. There. Yeah, you gotta click the, the tax sign. The, yeah, the dash. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so Dale. Dale, 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 you can pick the belt of dwarven kind. What's up? Belt of dwarven kind. You got to I'm talking to you.